Hey everyone, it's Foxio Games, and this is a quick little video to show you how to get rid of a really annoying part of using Valve's Steam interface. If you're like me, you love PC gaming, you use Steam for uh, most of your gaming needs, but one thing you really hate is how Valve loves to push these advertisements onto you by the way of interjecting games that you don't own and have never purchased into your library as temporary trial versions. See this Sid Meier uh, Civilization Beyond Earth game? Notice how there's a downward pointing arrow. This, by the way, is the Metro skin for Steam. It's just a different skin. That's why it looks different. This right here is an advertisement. I don't actually own this game. I never purchased it. I never asked for it. Valve just interjected it into my library against my will without my permission as an advertisement trying to advertise the game. There's no way to turn this feature off. There's no way to get rid of it. There's no way to tell Steam, hey, don't do this for me. I don't want it. It's just forced upon you. Despite the fact that the forums are often cluttered with people requesting that there be a way to turn this off. So if you're like me and can't stand them interrupting your library with this garbage, well, there's a quick, interesting little trick to solve the problem. Unfortunately, you have to do it every single time they interject a game into your library. But the good news is once you do it for game once, you'll never have to do it again. This is probably the view most of you use. I've actually organized my uh, library by categories, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Basically, find the game the advertisement that, that's been forcibly interjected into your library against your will, right click it, go to set categories, click hide this game in my library and click OK. Boom, it's gone. So now if I go to the S's, notice there's no more Sid Meier Civilization. Hey, nothing against that game, it's just I didn't ask for it, I don't want it, I don't want it in my library. The cool thing is, you can do this with other games too, not just with advertisements forced into your library. Let's say you bought a game and it came with some other freebie game attached to it that you don't care about, don't want, and think is terrible. Well, just go ahead and uninstall that if you haven't already, and uninstall that game, right click it, you can do it from this interface as well. Go to Set Categories and hide this game in my library. Now, if you ever want to go back and unhide it, the trick is, what you need to do is go into this view right here. Go to this little downward pointing arrow, this kind of like a carrot. Click that and go to Hidden. And in here, you'll find all the games that you've hidden. I've hidden a whole bunch of games that I'm either no longer interested in playing or simply I don't want them cluttering up my interface anymore. So now you guys know a little trick to get rid of that stuff that Valve forces on you. And uh, if I can make one request of you, please go ahead and submit a request to Valve. Let them know on the forum. Send them emails. Tell them, hey, let us disable this. Give us an option in the settings to turn this off because we don't want it. And people keep requesting it, and Valve just ignores it because, again, it's a way to advertise. They get advertising revenue doing that. But... I really feel like we should have the option to disable it because I don't want stuff coming into my library. You see my library, I've got it organized just the way I want. I've added non-Steam games and giving them uh, nice looking Steam icons. I've got it really well organized and then boom, suddenly they put this game in there that I didn't want. It shifts all my icons over. I just don't want that happening. I know it's not a big deal, but here's a trick you can use. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you just listen to this because you love my voice and find it attractive well then you can give that a thumbs up too you can give it a thumbs down if you want it all counts as a good rating for the video it doesn't matter thumbs up or down actually that's a surprise to a lot of people they don't realize that thumbs down still count towards the engagement factor of a video just the same as a thumbs up make sure to share it with others if you want to retweet it out or whatever else and if you haven't already you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time